Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the next in the series on programming for the web. Today, we're going to look at how to install NetBeans 12 long-term support on Ubuntu 20.04 Focal Fossa. Right, it's a, a relatively easy process, this, because now there is an installer available, but there are a couple of hoops that you have to jump through. So let's have a look at what you have to do. The first thing is that you must have a JDK on your system before you try and install it. So preferably version 14, but it can be anything from 11 onwards, but preferably version 14 and importantly you must remove nbjvac which is the java compiler it's not just uninstall you must uninstall it but it mustn't be actually on the computer you must delete the file so that's important okay let's have a look so here i've got ubuntu 2004 running on a virtual machine it's an absolutely clean virtual machine it's just been installed all I've actually done is set myself up. Uh, I've put on the um, the guest edition CD and I've done all the updates. That's it. Okay, and this is the first time I've actually opened uh, Firefox. So here we are on the Apache NetBeans website. Click on download. Click on download for version 12 and then you want the Apache NetBeans 12 Linux x64 if you click on that then the download shall, should start okay uh, sorry you actually have to select a mirror first and the download it'll ask you what to do with the download. Now I've already downloaded this so to save time but you would just save file not open with a text editor but save the file and click OK. I've downloaded it already so we don't need to do that. OK so we'll close that and I'll open and it's actually on my vshare so here you can see I've downloaded it now very very important if you try and install it you'll get an error if you don't have a JDK installed so you must install the JDK the best way to do that is to open terminal now I've put it on the the sidebar but if you don't have it on the sidebar you can always open turn by going to show applications and then typing in terminal in here or you can actually scroll down until you get to terminal I've put the terminal on there and what you now need to do is you now need to install the latest JDK sudo apt install open JDK hyphen 14 hyphen JDK it's always best to install the latest one press enter and you'll need to enter your password okay and this will uh, ask you to accept various things you can see what it's going to install it's got a number of um, suggested packages you don't have to install them it depends on what you're actually doing with NetBeans so I'm going to accept that with a Y press enter and this will take a while so we'll come back when this has finished okay so that's that installed we can check that it's installed by typing in which Java and pressing enter and it will give you the folder the directory that it's in and if you want to know which version just type in Java space and then double hyphen version and as you can see we've got open JDK 1401 installed next we now need to install 
the Apache NetBeans which is in your downloads folder if you downloaded it you should have it in your downloads folder so you need to change to that so CD oops capital D downloads and that will change you to the downloads folder you want dot forward slash and then the capitals are important it must be exactly the same as it's written there so Apache hyphen net beans hyphen 12.0 hyphen bin hyphen Linux hyphen x64 point sh dot sh I'll just check that that's correct and it isn't you'll notice that the n on netbeans is lower case I made a typo so I shall just check all of that again and if that is correct which it looks to be press enter and it should come up with configuring the installer searching for the Java virtual machine and then it will run the installer okay so first of all it's going to install everything okay if you decide you don't want parts you can customize it by clicking on customize and removing the tick from the box okay but I want everything installed so I shall click on next you then have the usual license agreement so accept and then click on next it will then tell you where it's installing it to which is here and this is where the JDK is okay if you if it's empty you can always browse and if you remember that's the location so it is in user USR okay so next okay it says check for update so that's good and install now this will take some time so we'll come back when it's finished it's done the install it's now checking for updates so this might take a moment or two in theory there shouldn't be any but it's always a good practice to check for updates and it's completing we're waiting here we go and installation completed successfully all plugins are up to date so if we click on finish you'll notice it's put it on the desktop it's there ready for you to load don't worry about this fail to load module Canberra GTK module that's not necessary okay so we can exit and we can close this okay if you right click on it you have to click on allow launching okay and then you'll see that you get the proper icon and the arrow so that's important you need to right click on it and you allow launching and now if you double click NetBeans will start now if you're doing an upgrade and this is a clean install but if you're doing an upgrade it will find the previous version of NetBeans and ask you if you if it want to import the settings from there it doesn't necessarily import all the settings okay very quickly when you first started up none of the modules are actually loaded and this is to speed up the startup process of NetBeans and then you can decide which modules you want and which modules you don't want and there's a number of ways you can do this um, you can open and you can create a new project if you wish and that will install the items so if you decide a, a Java with Maven it will install that if it's going to be PHP it'll be in, uh, sorry PHP it'll install that so that's one way it can install the modules another way is if you come down to tools and plugins okay and this will initialize a number of plugins and then click on available plugins okay you can actually see 
which plugins you can install here and if you come into installed okay you'll notice that they're not ticked so you can tick the ones that you actually want to install okay and that is another way of doing it okay and a third way of doing it if you wish is to come to options and quite literally to click on the option icon for the module that you want okay so for for example PHP if you click on PHP you'll see it's activating PHP so it's activated PHP if we come into options okay we've now got PHP there is no PHP interpreter installed at the moment on this as I say this was an absolutely clean install so there's no PHP interpreter I have to install PHP and so on on here at some point so HTML okay so that's already installed if you want Java then you can click on Java and it will install that okay so notice that when you first use it okay there is no module activated you have to physically activate the modules now that's important okay so now you can see I've got some more icons so I could start a project so if we just go to a PHP application I'll just leave it as standard as you can see it's PHP 7.4 which is the latest version okay and I'll click on next and I'll click on next I don't want any of that so we'll click on next there's no composer so finish and it will create the index file now I can't run it because I'm I don't have um, well actually I can run it I'd forgotten um, Apache NetBeans comes with its own server but unfortunately I don't actually have a PHP interpreter so it won't run it but as you can see it's now created the PHP file if I try and run it there'll be an error because I don't actually have PHP installed so that's how to install PHP uh, sorry that's how to install NetBeans 12 uh, you'll need to look at uh, my other videos as to how to install video oh sorry how to install PHP and a, a, a web server and that type of thing and I'll put a link to those up in the corner at the top there um, how, how to do that as I've got videos on all of that okay so thank you for watching I hope you found that helpful and we'll see you next time